Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a small Ulta slash Sephora whatever haul for you today. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. As most of you probably don't even know, because you most of you probably don't even know me, I don't know, but May 20th was my birthday so I went out and bought a pretty fair amount of makeup. I mean for the price Mm, that mm, that price tag was up there let's just say that and the thing is I didn't even get like a whole bunch of makeup I just got like a good handful of things and it cost me like a lot of money first I wanted to pick up these NYX liquid liners I I am clumsy okay I wanted to pick up these NYX liquid liners and black and I wanted to try a white liner so I got one in white as well so let's just do a little swatchy swatch I mean you're just gonna see white and black lines on my arm but why not it's like open this up because I <clears throat> I waited for to record this video for me to like open a few of these things up a lot some of it I opened but some of it I didn't these Eyeliners are pigmented. I'm glad I picked these up. Moving on to something I also got by NYX. I got this Duo Chromatic Illuminating Powder, which is a highlighter. And I wanted to get the pink one that was like pink reflective whatever, but I think that I accidentally picked up the blue. Again, have to open it because haven't used it yet. I think I'm, yeah, I picked up the blue, I'm pretty sure, considering the fact the color is Twilight Tint. Don't think that's pink. Yeah, that's definitely a blue shift. Definitely a blue shift. And here's the swatch right here. Um, not as pigmented as I thought it was going to be from the video I watched on it. Let me just do another swatch on top. Okay, I, I like how this looks though. It doesn't look glittery. It looks more dewy and like wet, which is what I go for in a highlighter. I don't really like glittery highlighters on my face, but Jesus knows I still buy them because I'm crazy. All right, moving on to what I originally was just going to plan to buy and then leave the store. I was like, okay, I'm going for this. I'm going to buy this and then I'm going to leave. Didn't turn out that way. I bought a lot of things I didn't even necessarily want at the time, which I'm glad I got them now. But anyway, is the Stila Liquid Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Eye Sh Liquid Eyeshadows? I'm sure if you're watching this and you're into beauty at all and have are ugh, and are following anyone in the beauty industry, you know that. These are popular right now and everyone wants them for some reason. Well, no, not for some reason. It's because they're freaking, they're great. Okay, this is one I did not wait to open because I wanted to put this all over my lid, which I did. Today I'm wearing Diamond Dust. So I'm going to swatch these for you so you can see what they look like. The top one is Diamond Dust and the bottom one is Kitten Karma. When they dry, they do like... They do show up more glittery and reflective. When they're wet, they're not as reflective and like glitter, you can't see the glitter as well. But when they dry, they're amazing. And I do love these a lot. I love this Diamond Dust color. I also love Kitten Karma, but Diamond Dust is just there. It is like, ooh, I love it. I love it. And it's so easy because it's not like loose glitter. You can just like, use the little applicator it got it's it, oh, I can't speak y'all I can't speak the little applicator you can use the little applicator it has in here and just swipe it over your eyelid then you're done and you can move on with your life okay the next stuff next two things I got were just bonuses and the bag of stuff I got I also got two other things I'll show you in a second because those are the big things but I just got these little bonuses haven't opened them yet this is the um the little sample size of the poor professional look at that look at how cute it is it's so little yeah I've heard a lot of good things about this but I haven't tried it yet so 
now I can try it. I also got this um, Too Faced lip gloss. <laughs> oh. It would not come out, my apologies. I got this Too Faced, Oh, It has like a little sticker on the front. Can you guys see that? Pardon my disgusting nails, but I hope you guys can see that. It's so cute, little peach. That's cute. Anyway, it's a lip gloss in the color Pure Peach. I wasn't, I did open this one too, guys. I'm sorry, I suck. But I wasn't too impressed with this. It's not that great. I mean, this is something I would find in a little kid's makeup, like, bundle type thing. Because, see, it's not, it's not that exciting. It's a, it's a pink gloss. You can find that anywhere. Well, wait a sec, okay. Okay, but it does smell really good. I don't know what it smells like. Doesn't smell like peach in my opinion though. I don't know, it smells like candy. It smells really good though. But the color, not too impressed by it, but it's cute. Okay, on to the two big things I got. I got this Tarte Make Believe in Yourself Eye and Cheek Palette. I literally saw this at Ulta, swatched one color, picked it up, put it in my bag and bought it. I didn't even think about it. I just swatched it and bought it. I thought the packaging was so cute. Look at that. It is adorable. Okay, I love it. And then you open it up and you get this. Okay. I've seen this but I've seen this floating around and I was like, that is not that exciting. I mean, there's like no transition shades. There's one one transition shade. I'm like, that's not exciting. But when I swatched it, I was like, wait. That is exciting. Here's some swatches of the colors. These are like swatches of the colors after I rubbed them on my arm. So even after I wiped off a lot of the pigment, it's still like bam in your face. Okay. And whoa, okay. This is hard to show you, but here are some of these swatches. Like this, you can, come on. You have to understand why I bought this, right? Like, oh. They are so reflective and pretty and actually pigmented. Like, look, and I just wiped that on. There's so much pigment. So yes, I bought that. I was thinking this was gonna be a short video, but the amount of talking I am doing might not be so short. The second thing I got, which I saw floating around Instagram a few months ago or a month ago, I don't know, whenever it came out, I saw it floating around and I was like, I need that in my life, but I never ended up getting it. But when I saw it at Ulta, ah, guess what? Yeah, that's right, I bought it. <laughs> okay, so this is the Tardiest Pro palette. Yes, still in its packaging because, again, waiting to show you guys before I, like, put it all away in my vanity and whatever, so... Looks like this, it's matte black on the outside. Okay, you get these colors. Mm -hmm. They're, they're, they're very pretty. I think I'm more, I was more interested in like the inside packaging and how pretty the inside of it was and how pretty the colors looked in there than actually like trying it out on my eyes, if that makes sense. Because again, I'm more of a makeup collector and I buy things just to have it on my vanity more than like buying it to use it. I know I'm weird. Okay, you know what? Actually, I stand a little bit corrected or something. I am now excited about the actual colors instead of just the way it looks on my vanity because and just having it because anyway because these swatches these are actually very very pigmented I only did five colors and every single one was pigmented do you see that color right there like it like shifts it's like a shifty color I don't know I enjoy it I want that all over my lid right now okay and the mattes are surprisingly like they're crazy pigmented, like, mm. so never mind. I am excited about using it. <sighs> Haven't even touched that palette, like, at all. Didn't even swatch it in the store. I just picked it up and I bought it. <laughs> I'm crazy. So that is all for my little haul for you guys. Again, I didn't get that much, but I just wanted to share the couple of things I did get on my birthday. 
Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below ideas of what I should do for my next video because I'm, I need ideas. Like, I want to know what you guys want to see. You know, some people, like, some people Snapchat me or message me on Instagram or comment and leave me ideas. And I love it. I love when they leave me ideas because I'm like, you know what? That's not, it's not too bad of a idea you got there. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. I can't speak. I can't hold my items without dropping them or messing up. And deep breath, deep breath. So without on. <laughs>